Unplug the electrical cable. Remember that all received fax data left in the machine will be lost. Remove the paper cassette. Remove the toner cartridge. Be careful, the light may damage the drum. I suggest you to keep all the components you dismantle in a queue, so it will be easier to reinstall them. Open the back cover. Remove the back cover. Push the right pin of the cover, and pull out the right side of the cover. Remove the cover from the other pin, and remove the cover. Pull out the right side of the shutter, then remove it, sliding the shutter to the right. Open the front cover, and release the hook. Slide the cover to the left, and remove it. Remove these two screws. Release the hooks of the side cover, and remove it. Hold the knobs on the fuser cover, and pull the cover down, then, remove the cover. Pull down the green levers, on both sides. Remove the two screws. Remove the inner chute assembly. Remove the screw. Release all the hooks, and remove the left side cover. Open the scanner unit. Release the joint parts of the two pull arms. Remove the two arms, and the springs. Remove the two screws. Disconnect all the cables. Remove the screw, on the back of the scanner unit. Release the hook, and lift the scanner unit up. To remove the control panel, remove the four screws. Release the claws, 
and remove the panel. Disconnect the cable. To remove the scanner glass, remove the six screws. Remove the four screws of the top cover. Release the hook, and remove the speaker cover. Remove the screws of the modem. Release the two cables from the security fixtures. Release the hooks, add remove the top cover. To remove the fusers, disconnect this cable. Remove the two screws of the fuser unit. Disconnect the two cables of the thermistor. Remove the fuser unit. To remove the laser unit, disconnect the flat cables. Remove the four screws. Remove the laser unit. This is the low voltage power supply. This is the high voltage power supply. This is the fan. To remove the fan, release it from the fixtures. To remove the roller holder assembly, push down the arm. Rotate the roller assembly, and remove it from the shaft. This is the main board. To remove the new toner sensor PCB assembly, release the hook, 
and remove the board. Reinstall the fuser unit. Insert the two connectors. Insert the two screws. Insert the connector. There are two tabs in the top cover. Insert them first. Reinstall the modem with the flat cable and the screws. Insert the speaker cover. Reinstall the four screws of the top cover. Insert the scanner cover. Insert the screw. Reinstall all the cables of the main board. Insert the two screws. Reinstall the arm, and the springs. Reinstall the side cover. Insert the screw. Insert the inner chute assembly. Insert the two screws. Pull up the two green levers. Insert the fuser cover. Install the other side cover. There are tabs on the upper part of the cover. Insert them first. Insert the two screws. Reinstall the rear cover. Install the other fuser cover. Install the rear panel.
Close the cover. Reinstall the toner and drum assembly. Insert the paper cassette. And the work is done.